Welcome back to Casino Guitars. Sean over here in the pedal corner area thing, wherever you want to call it, with the Avalanche Run by Earthquaker Devices. Uh, super cool reverb and delay pedal that I've loved for many years, and we have the version 3 here with us today. Um, super, super cool reverb delay machine, like I just said. Um, but I kind of wanted to do a little rundown on it and give you some of the specs on this thing that I feel like it doesn't really get the love on, you know? Because there's a lot of weird sounds per Earthquaker devices that we all get used to, uh, where it just goes a little bit out of control in the way that I personally like. It's just right out of the grasp. So to start with, I just want to explain what the general controls are here. So our top row of knobs, this all controls our delay. We've got a time, a repeat, a tone, and a mix, right? So some of these may be self-explanatory, but to anybody who doesn't know, the time knob here controls the time of our delay. So I'm gonna turn this set, which is our reverb controls, all the way down so we just have delay. Cool, right? Turn all that back up. Now what we're gonna do is bring the repeats down and we're gonna talk about time. It controls time. That's how we get these weird space sounds, which is really cool. <laughs> which is really, really, really awesome. Now, if you want to affect the time aspect of it a little bit more, you can control the repeats and time ratio down here with this ratio knob. So what I've done is I've turned it to a 16th. to at least there we go so by activating the tap tempo you can control it with the ratio knob you have to tap in first though to get that so that is one to one right So that slows it down, and then we're coming back this way. There we go. So speeds it up, slows it down. What we also have here is some triplet and different odd measurements of time. So. but through changing that, you're affecting just the tap tempo side of it. So if I move this time knob, this no longer does anything, which is good, useful information to have. Uh, now, along with that, back to explaining what we're doing here, we've got the time, which is changing the time that the delay is happening, the repeats knob, which goes all the way from a very subtle one to infinite and also self oscillation. So if I just let this run, it's gonna go forever. And then by changing the time, it changes the pitch of the note. Turn the mix up and then. We get a high pitch squeal and we can also control that. I will, I will save your ears though from that noise because it's not all that settling sometimes. Super cool though, right? So from there we have a tone knob which takes our delay sound and you can darken it up. It gets a lot bassier all the way over here to super bright so it kind of works more on like an axis of an EQ which is really cool I find that very usable especially in a recording situation where you may want a darker delay on the back end of it and then our mix knob which controls how heavy that delay is to our dry signal right so this here all the way over totally dry nothing on it 
Slowly mix it back in. Here we go. That's right at about half and half, 50-50. And then this is all wet. Which gives you an obvious lag there. So I like to leave mine kind of right about there. We're, we're just past the halfway mark. Get it up into self-oscillation territory. And then you can do what we call in the biz, playing with yourself. Super neat, right? Now, on to the reverb section here. So we got two reverb controls. We have decay, we have mix. So, once again, our mix goes from dry, nothing but the little bit that I got on the amp. I'm gonna turn the delay off. Right, now we're gonna rock this up to about halfway. I'm going to turn that decay up now because that's going to help with how long that reverb lasts, right? So we went from really almost like gated reverb territory where it kind of dies off real quick, right? I know gated is a little bit different than that where it kind of sucks it all back in, but this is giving a really, really short delay tail or a reverb tail, sorry. As I tweak this up though, gets a little bit more cavernous, right? So I'm gonna keep the decay up a bit. Now I wanna show you one of my favorite sounds to get out of this pedal. So I'm gonna add back in some of the delay here and I'm gonna crank the mix on the reverb. So, with this all the way up on the reverb, you get this really cool choral-like effect. Pickup combination and tone knobs are very usable here because this is how I'm getting it to sound a lot duller but a little more lifted, right? And then if I ease back in off of the tone knobs, you get a little more attack at the beginning. Which is cool, right? And now we'll go for more of like a classic, kind of the first thing that I ever played this thing through, the sound I got. Just a little bit. You can almost get the imagery of a mountain top high. Is super cool, right? Now, I'm gonna talk about some of the accessory switching that this thing has too, which is super cool with this pedal. It doesn't stop with just these really great delay and reverb sounds. It also has a reverse, which turns your delay backwards, which is super cool.
which gives you almost like a glitched out effect at times, which is really nice. Especially if we speed up our time. Pump up the repeats. delay. Super neat stuff though. Blend in that reverb some more. Super neat stuff with the reverse there. That's always been one of my favorite sounds to kind of toggle between with that and the regular kind of mixed up reverb thing. Now the other switching option over here is swell, which is a little self-explanatory. I feel like we've gotten a little more used to the swell sounds lately, especially with most reverb and delay pedals. stuff so from there some of the last little effects I want to talk about with this thing is this LED right here so as you can see it's green right now right that's because I've set this into tails mode so what tails mode does is whenever I cut the effect off whatever reverb and delay is still in there it slowly pans that volume down after I've already shut it off so 
I'm going to turn this up to close to that self oscillation point and then get the mix up, reverb up. Big sounding, right? Play this a couple of times, right? Give us kind of like a seamless transition if you're playing live and you want to be able to go from this cavernous kind of delay reverb sound, think of like a verse, maybe even just an intro part. And really it's great if you want to fill space in between your your songs, your set breakdowns, anything like that. Because somebody can just sit there and kind of play a couple of chords. It's gonna sound great. Super neat, right? So from there, you can change the length of that tail to be extremely short. So it's you cut it off and you might get two seconds or very long and even set it to where the self oscillation repeats stays continuous if you have it set there. So it'll just continue to go once you cut it off, but anything you play won't affect it. Once again, as we call it in the business, playing with ourselves. So, if this pedal interests you, give me a call here at the shop. I'm more than happy to give you a run through of it and explain why I love it so much. Um, but th I think this thing's great and I don't think it gets enough love. So, if you're looking for reverb and delay, start with the Avalanche Run. That's my vote. But give us a shout if you got any questions on it. Um, click like, click, su click subscribe. <laughs> Hang on, let me do that one again. I was doing great! But if you got any questions on it, give us a call here at the shop. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have on it. Um, yeah. Click like, click, click. <laughs> One more time. <sighs> All right. Now I lost even what I was going to say. Thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe, hit the bell. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this, and uh, we'll be coming back to you with some more pedal videos and rundowns here soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.